What I want you to do though is I want you to take a look at this story and I want you to tell me, do you think it's a good idea that police officers in Jamaica are now wearing body cameras? Why is it concentrated on only one area of Jamaica? Most of the killing them for the past couple of years happened in Mobile, but them put all of the camera them in a New Kingston or in Kingston area. I don't understand why they could not have put 20 cameras in Kingston, 20 cameras in Montego Bay at, and you know spread them out. 20 cameras over here, so 20 cameras in different different parts of the of the island. That would have made more sense. What says you? <laughs> Welcome to Flow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. Watch this. So I remember this surfacing a few years ago, and it's been a work in process. What, I'm, what am I talking about? I am talking about cameras everywhere in Jamaica. Remember, I know. When we discuss certain issues that are going on in Jamaica, especially when like the murder rate was ramped up and they have a low conviction rate because them can't find the killer and all these other kind of things, we were giving one of the suggestions were to put Jamaica in a fishbowl, put cameras everywhere. People would come in and they would say, but so flow, they're going to shoot out the camera, they man them something there. And I'm telling you that there are microscopic cameras around that can survey like an entire block or street a wide radius of an area then if you put multiple cameras like those where these people can't even see them then they will not be able to destroy them right okay police start with a camera in a jamaica now that's a start how do you feel about that what do you say about that let me read this article to you today this article comes from the jamaica observer and then we're going to talk a little bit about this right so the article says that the long-touted move to outfit police officers with body cameras is finally a reality, right? The Jamaican Constabulary Force announced yesterday that police officers in Kingston and St. Andrew have started using body cameras, although it has been more than two years after it was first announced and only in four police divisions. So I know everybody have it, first of all, right? Is it a good look? In a new release from the Corporate Communications Unit, the JCF said the move is in keeping with the organization's thrust to enhance professionalism. Okay. At a post-cabinet press briefing in 2014, then Security Minister Peter Bunting announced that cops would be wearing body cameras before the end of the year. That was 2014. That never happened. Bunting disclosure was made amid renewed concerns over allegations of extrajudicial killings and misconduct by members of the force. So, when the police killing them, they ramp up in Jamaica and people are saying, no man, there are a lot of extrajudicial killings going on and a lot of these people that the police are killing, they might kill them and plant gun upon them and the people are actually really innocent, right? Or... They're innocent until proven guilty, but the police probably know that so them man they're guilty already, but they'll probably be let out. So the police just go on and kill them anyway and get it out of the way. They're saying everybody is due process through a court of law, so that kind of killing, extrajudicial killing, was deemed unjust, illegal, and all these other things. So start putting cameras on the police officers. This was in 2014 when Peter Bunting was in power, in office, in this position. And he came out and said that by the end of the year, the police officers would have been wearing. We're in 2017. It just happening. And it's only happened in four divisions. So, did they do it just to silence the people who are saying that, well, how come you said in 2014 that the end of the year, by the end of the year, police are going to wear a camera. And at 2017, no one, nobody now wear none still. And them still are kill people. Did they do that just to silence that demographic? Hmm. The commissioner said that six JCF divisions in St. Andrew Central, St. Andrew South, East Kingston or Kingston East, Kingston Central, Motorized Patrol and Traffic Headquarters would receive 20 cameras each and the data submitted to the Information Communications Technology Division for processing at the end of each duty he had said too that the program would event eventually be expanded. So that's a good start. 20 camera to each division, right? That should cover a lot of grounds. 
We're going to talk about what possibilities lie ahead. Several months after the body cameras were presented to the JCF, they are now being worn by cops in Kingston Eastern, Kingston Central, St. Andrew Central, and Kingston Western Divisions. Oh boy. Last year, Williams had explained that the data would be logged in a fingerprint protection room. So whatever the camera collected would be logged in a fingerprint protection room. Alright. Uh, uh, where only officers that are equipped with the detectives, with the, sorry, with the devices and other relevant authorities can enter that room. He had also said that the data would be stored for a maximum of three months. <laughs> Anyways, the overall project, which included the devices, installation, and training to use them, cost the U.S. government, U.S., $400,000. So, let me get this straight. It was the U.S. government that paid for this. It was the U.S. government that paid for the cost of the cameras. It was the U.S. government that paid for the training that went along with using the cameras. It was the U.S. government that paid for the installation of the cameras. Right. So when the ox and the data they say, hypothetically speaking, because somebody said something about Jamaica becoming a U.S. territory. We know that was false news. But we were asking what would be some of the benefits if Jamaica ever did. A lot of people said, oh, hell no. Me not accept that. None at all. Right? So it was the U.S. that paid for all this, paid for the installation, paid for the devices, and paid for the training of our officers to use these devices correctly. What I don't get is this. For one... Why can't the data be stored longer than three months? So if a police officer was wearing a camera, right? And him slip up and forget say him wearing a camera and he commits an illegal activity. It takes forever for, for anybody to be tried in a court of law, let alone a police officer that have some bucketive in Jamaica, right? And let's say, and I'm, gonna, I'm going to, he's not a police officer, but I'm going to use him as an example. Y'all see the Kajil Mace and the X6 murder trial and uh, what's his name, what's his face, Powell. Wanna see how long it took Powell to actually go to trial after released on bail from 2011? Never go to trial till 2016 and end up beating the case. Probably because most of the evidence that was fresh had disappeared. Probably because he had years to coerce witnesses into saying, me never see nothing. It's going to be the same thing with this camera if evidence is destroyed after three months because it's only stored for a maximum of three months y'all get where this is going so yes it's a good start in my opinion it's a good start but another strategic move that they should not have done they should not have told the public exactly where these cameras are exactly where the police officers are wearing these cameras only the police officers should have known who are wearing these cameras or their division should have known that they are wearing these cameras. Matter of fact, if Jamaica Justice System or Jamaica's Constabulary Force wanted to establish um, real trust, I mean, I say that all police officers are bad because there are some good police officers out there that are genuinely out there doing their duties to protect our country and keep it safe and keep its citizens safe, right? And they're law-abiding, God-fearing people. Me not talk about them one day. Me not talk about the corrupted one them that run in numbers and groups and gangs, right? If JCF wanted to eradicate these types of police officers from the force and actually gain some kind of genuine relationship with the people at large, because enough people say me not trust police, so if they wanted to actually gain that, what they should have done with this camera thing is all, test it first and let only the officers who wear it be sworn to secrecy that even their counterparts don't know that they're wearing it. <laughs> Imagine what would have came from that. Imagine what would have came from that. But they publicized it in the newspaper. So now everybody knows that, all right, this is a division over this part of West Kingston the whole of the police them over there, so our 20, poli 20 police officers over there have cameras on them. 
So, no go nowhere in that area there. Because you don't even have to be in contact with them to be picked up on camera. Right? Them can just be in the area, camera run, and you a couple of feet away from them. And or, you know what I say, you're a distance away from them and the camera is picking up your actions. You're being recorded on a daily basis. So bad man, don't go into that area here because the police them have cameras over there. And that them just do, you know. That's what they just did, in my opinion. What says you, SoFlo TV? I want you to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you've never been here before. Do you think it's a good idea that they have cameras now on the police officers? Do you think that they should not have let this information out already? Do you think that they should have handled this differently, like I suggested, whereas they would have sworn the police officers to secrecy that were wearing the cameras, even that their counterparts did not know that they are wearing the cameras? Do you think that more cameras are needed, not only on the body of the police officers and other law enforcement officials, but also in areas and places around the island? It's so flow TV, man. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. But there I do the thing, you know. I'm up out of here. Peace.